In this video, you're going to see how we debone hams to make the boneless whole Suriano ham. As you can see, Daryl is trimming the excess fat off the surface. We want to make sure we leave at least a quarter of an inch, if not a little bit more than that, on the surface. It's just the way people that buy this type of ham like it. They, they like the excess fat on it. After he's knocked the hock and the butt off of the ham, about this size, you need to take the knuckle bone out and the femur bone in the center. Being extremely careful not to cut too much of the pretty meat of the center of the ham out of it. You want to cut it as close to that bone as you can. As you can see, once he takes his knife around the outside of the bone, he just pushes it out of the ham, trims that excess meat off the bone, and we'll sell that as Suriano trim in bits and pieces. Now once that's done, we send it to a room to have it tempered and packed. Now in this shot, we're showing you it's the same ham, Suriano ham, but we're going to use these hams for slicing, so we, we do them just a little different. We trim the, the butt and the hock off of the ham, leaving as much of the hock on there as you can so we get a good yield. Daryl was actually checking the aroma there because occasionally you will get a bad ham. That's a good time to check it for smell. Now we take the ham and cut it right down the center of that femur bone. It helps give us a better yield when we go to slice. It's much easier to get the bone out of the ham neatly without cutting into the high dollar meat. Obviously having a sharp knife helps this process a lot. As you can see, he's trimming it very closely to the bone to leave very little meat on that center bone. Occasionally, you get a ham where there's off color in it. At this point, it's a good time to, to, to recognize that and set it aside if it doesn't meet our standards. He's trimming a little bit of the face meat off where that black uh, hard meat is on the outside. You don't want to leave that on the ham. And once he finishes deboning this ham, we then send him to typically to uh, room 11, which is running at 18 degrees to temper it before we go to slice it.